welcome to my pop-up car do-it-yourself tutorial. I hope this helps you learn how to create your own pop-up card mechanism that you then can use for any of your designs later down the road. Whether it's doing what my other pop-up tutorials show you to do, which is a lot of fun, I do suggest watching those later, or doing your own design and this just gives you a good starting point to have something to work with. Let's get started on our own pop-up card. First, you need to do shapes and get the square. I'm gonna do five by eight, which will make my card five by four. Once you have the square, you're gonna go to the left bottom corner and hit the unlock. Once you see it's unlocked, you then can go up to size at the top and right now, because it's a square, they're all the same size. We want to change the width to what I said earlier, which is five by eight. I'm going to change it to white because that's the paper I'll be using. Now that we have the size of our card, we now need to make our mechanism for the middle of our pop-up card that our design will be glued on. What I do for the mechanism is once again, you go to the shapes, you're gonna go to score line. What this allows you to do is get a straight line for our scores, but also for our cut lines. How you can change it from a score line to a cut line is at the top under canvas is this column that says line type. Right now it says the line type is score. We're gonna click on the down arrow and we get all of these options. Now we could change it to anything we want, which in this case is a cut line. Now that we have our cut line, we need to do our sizes. The first part is turning this to its side. What I do is I use the lines in the background to indicate if, if my line is straight. Now that I know that it's straight, I need to change it at the size only in height to be 1.73. We're gonna need two of those. So right now, I'm just gonna put this at the top because that's where it will go eventually. Now that we have our two score lines, this is gonna be at the bottom of two cut lines we need to duplicate this by right clicking on it and scrolling down to duplicate. You can also, if you want, just click on the item and come up here and hit duplicate. Either way works. Now that we have our two lines, they each need to be 1.53. Here comes a little complex step, but really easy once you get the practice of it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the score line hold shift on your keypad and click on one of the cut lines. It doesn't matter which one right now. Once you do that, up here at the top, there is a line. This will make it so much easier that for you to accomplish this step. Hit align, align left. Once you align left, we want the score line to be touching the bottom of the cut line. So you hit click on it again and go down to a line bottom. Now that we know that is all in the correct position that we want, what you do now to continue this easy process of adding the lines where you desire, you come down to the right corner, put your mouse over attach, that looks like a little clip and click on it. Now that we know they are attached, you're gonna now add this line, but on the right side. We're gonna just hold the mouse down on the left click, and once you highlight all of the variables that you want to attach, you let it go and it, it highlights it for you, so you don't have to hold the shift button. 
Now that we've done that, you're going to do the same step but opposite. The only change is we are now aligning this cut line on the right, but we're still aligning it on the bottom. Now that our bottom portion of the mechanism is all put together, we hit attach and move on to the next step. The next step is figuring out where the little cut is for this to fold up and down. Once again, we're just gonna duplicate this because I know it's already straight and these lines are gonna go along the top like that, except much, much smaller and they are gonna be cut lines. You'll need two of these. First, I'm gonna go to line type and change it to cut. I'm also gonna change it to the size I need. So I only have to do this once, once I duplicate it. The size I need for this cut is 0 0.135. Now that I have that, we're gonna duplicate. Which like I said, if you have it clicked on, above on the right side is also a duplicate button that you can just click on. Now that that's complete, we're gonna do the same step that we did earlier where you attach it to the top using the align method. Highlight one cut line that isn't attached yet or where we desire it to be and shift it with the attached portion that you have already created. You're gonna click on a line left. The only change this time is we want it on the top. So you're gonna hit a line top. Without having to unclick, you just come down to the bottom, click attach. Once that is attached, you repeat the same step. The only difference is you are doing the opposite of which side it's on, but it will still be on the top. Align right, align top. Once again, you're gonna click on attach. Now that all this is in place, we're gonna align this on the top and we're gonna center it horizontally. You're gonna click on the score line only. With your arrow buttons on your keypad, you're gonna click down five times. One, two, three, four, five. This should put your score line where you desire it to work on the mechanism. Depending on the image that you choose, this might have to be changed for that design that you choose to do, but usually five, five clicks has worked for me. Now that that's where we want it, we're gonna highlight the whole thing, come back down to the bottom, hit attach. Now we've got the bottom part of our mechanism completed. We need to add the top part. Once again, you're gonna to go to shapes, score line. However, these are gonna be cut lines. That will be 1.10 inches. You wanna bring that over here. This is gonna align right here This one you have to eyeball. If you have to, you can zoom in. Same on this side. You might as well just eyeball it. Once you have those exactly where you want them, you're gonna duplicate it one more time because we're gonna need two more cut lines right in the middle. But for now, we're gonna get that out of the way so we can highlight everything by holding the left click side of the mouse Sometimes this happens where it's gonna make you detach everything. For right now, that's okay. It's really easy to just repeat. Rehighlight the whole thing, and this time it should be letting you attach. I don't know why it does that, just for some reason, sometimes it does that. Once you have that in place, you're gonna now need to put these exactly 0 0.5 inches apart. What we do is I line this up with a line of an inch. Then this allows me to bring this and put it halfway through that inch mark, which will be right here. 
we're going to make sure that the top is aligned by highlighting everything, going to align and click on align top. Now that we know that that is even and that is one, two, three, four squares away, so half an inch away, we're going to duplicate it. Sometimes it's easier to just go over here, click on the item and hit duplicate. Now with this one, it's gonna be the same thing. You're going off of this side. So we need it to be halfway, which I believe is right there, but we'll check after we do this. We're gonna highlight all that and attach because we know this side is exactly the size that we want. This side is a little off. Okay, perfect. Now it's perfect. We've got it half an inch. Same step. You're going to highlight the whole thing. Make sure the top is aligned. You don't want that one mechanism to be cut funny where this one's perfect. Then it won't work. Once you see that everything is aligned, especially if you use that process, it should be aligned. You're going to come over here and click attach. Now this part is all attached. We now need a score line that goes across the top here. You want it to go all the way across so you can fold this whole portion. How I do that is shapes, score line, turn it, and then we're going to change it to the size that we need from this point to this point, which is an inch and a half. Going to center horizontally so it's lined up. Also, using that same process, we're going to hit a line top. So even though the score line isn't showing that it's touching here, because when we click on it, it shows that it's touching there, it means that the Cricut will know to start here and stop there. Now that we have the score line there, we're going to highlight the whole mechanism. It's going to make us do the, the detach part again, but that's really easy. Just hit a detach. Make sure you don't accidentally move stuff. Highlight the whole thing again click attach. The next part is putting it in the center of our card where we need it to be. How I do that is I get two score lines. You don't want the score lines going all the way across. The mechanism is going to go in the middle. You don't want the Cricut to go all the way across because then it will mess up any score lines that you have to do for this part. What you do is you put this in the middle and I have found that for a five by eight card, the size of score line I need is 1.7. I'm gonna duplicate that because we're gonna put one on each side of our mechanism that we have created. We're going to move this for a bit because I need to center these. You're going to hit align, center, so you know it's in the middle of the card, and then you're going to hit align left. Go over, attach. Same with this score line. You're going to highlight the whole project. Oh, make sure the card's in the back. Highlight the whole project of the card plus the score line. Come up to a line and remember we need to center it first and then align to the right. These should be exactly centered just on opposite sides. It's going to make us detach, but that once again, that's okay. It's not a big deal. We just highlight the whole thing again. Make sure you don't move anything inadvertently and click on attach. Once that's done, how you know where your mechanism needs to go is lining the score lines up with our mechanism. 
This makes it so we know this is exactly where we want that to be. Is you left click holding it, then drag your mouse across everything that you desire to work with. Once they are all highlighted, you should see everything over here is gray. It's going to make you detach. Once again, that's okay. Just repeat. And this time it should let you attach. Now our Cricut design knows that when it goes to make this, this is one piece. It will work with what you give it and it should cut and score the way you have designed it to work. Now that the mechanism is created, I always cut it out and work with the images that I plan on working with because sometimes you have to move that score line a little bit down or up. And when I say score line, I'm talking about this score line, depending on your image, but that's really easy to fix. All you do is you highlight everything, you detach, and you make sure that you're clicking where you want the score line to be. It's still needing me to detach and detach, detach. Just always make sure you don't accidentally move something as you're doing this process. Oops, like that. But if you do, it's okay. Hit the undo button and you just try again. Now that I just have the score line, once I know based on my test of where I might need the score line, I can move it up with my arrow. But for some reason right now it's not working. There we go. Up or down, depending on what happened when I tried my design. I hope this helps and I hope that you can create beautiful cards with this pop-up card mechanism. I also hope that you'll go watch my other tutorials. If you want a good starting place to play with the pop-up card mechanism, go watch this video. It has a step-by-step -step process of a completed card. This is just showing you how I created the mechanism that you then can transform into whatever you want. Thanks for watching. Bye!